I did was hack the connecting C sharp. Here, I'll show you what it looks like. I hacked the Super Glider IDE. I'm working on actually kind of learning Super Glider today to interface with a Connect framework that I have for installation spaces. I'm Tony, and I'm doing Compsci 225 homework. Checking if if it's tracking a skeleton. Communicate directly with the Super Glider server uh, via OSC. Basically, we have the um, Connect um, using a framework that I created a while back that basically just tracks users within a space. Mm -hmm. And so I'm sending it as an OSC message. So that's getting sent over to here. Instead of going through the uh, Super Collider language interpreter in order to get some data from the server. And then it's receiving the UDP and then this is rooting it. And then it's mapping those X and Y coordinates based on the user's movements. It's going to modify the sound. So what we see here is, uh, is a proof of concept. Here's just a little thing that shows the level of output audio buses. So I think your right hand is a one chord, your left hand's a four chord, and then your head's a five chord. Oh, that's cool. So I guess depending on the position, it picks like a different part, like different grains right, in the sound. Yeah. Right, okay. Because the Super Glider language interpreter is a separate process from the editor, there was no way that you could embed this GUI inside the GUI of the editor. Cacophony! Nice. Rock and roll. So every so often you hit that space where it's yeah, really it's transient. Yeah. But because now the editor can get that information about audio levels directly from the server, it's possible to actually display that information in the editor and becomes another dockable widget like all others and it nicely integrates. You can practice that and play the loose. Right on, good job. So that's what I've been working on today.